Okay, I gotta show this to you. It completely blew my mind. <laughs> So, I'm using Adobe CC. I have Audition and Premiere Pro and After Effects and all that stuff. You know, usually I go through and I edit my videos and I stopped sort of using a lot of music in my videos because it was getting really a pain in the butt and a time bandit because I have to chop them and sync them all up and figure out how the cuts and if it's a two minute long video and I have two minutes and 15 seconds of sound then I have to chop, it's just, it's just a time bandit. So I stopped using it. The other day I was looking at some of the features in 2018 that have recently appeared and I found something that completely blew my mind and makes it really simple to do stuff. One of them, which is not the thing that blew my mind, although it a little bit, was auto ducking. Ducking, well, we'll cover that when I show you. The other thing, well, you just watch the video and I don't know, it's some crazy stuff. Okay, so let's say I have this little sample of video movie here that I shot from something else that, so I could show you. And I have this music here. We'll get into that in a moment. So I'm going along, let's mute the music track. The first thing I wanna take a look at is how thin this thing is. This is ridiculously thin. It's, the bezel on this is almost thinner than my finger. It's unbelievable. Okay, and it goes through and plays, and then at the end, let's take a look at some of the front knobs. Okay, because we always want to be able to look at front knobs. Anyway, that's that. It's 502. Um, yeah, it's about a minute long. Now I have this, uh, what's called face plan. It's just a, some music I got from Premium Beat. And that's about two minutes and five minutes long. So normally what I would do is I would go in here and I, I would duck the sound, meaning when I have these two on, this is gonna be a little loud. Let me pull this down a little bit so I don't blow your ears out. Meaning it would start like this. First thing I wanna take a look at is how thin this thing is. Okay, so I would figure out where to start this, where it comes in, I have a marker. Then I would pull, put a keyframe here and pull down the volume as it went through. Maybe if there were some spots in there where um, um, I wasn't talking, it would come back up and play normally, then it would pull back down. That's a lot of work. What's really a lot of work is when I have to go through and take this track, figure out where the end is, where I wanna cut out over here with the sound, and cut out all these little pieces and get them all synced up and do crossfades and do all this stuff to try and get this to be where I want it. So I went in and I thought, okay, well, let me go in and check out what Essential Sound will do for me. That's over here. Well, these are interesting. So I click on mute here and I uh, select that. I tell it it's music and it says, oh, look, there's your duration, has some other settings up here. And let's say I change it to about 108, about there and it goes through and it redoes the music for me. That's cool, but here's what we get. You have a on-screen display. Totally unhelpful. It, uh, you know, it, it just basically sped it up. Um, so then I was reading something in Audition about something like that. Um, went over and tried it from Audition and this is where my mind was blown. I have this voice file and I have this face plant file. Let's run Audition, voice wave file, throw that in there, and I'm gonna grab my face plant music. Same type of deal. If I go in here, there's my big long face plant file at over two minutes. There's my uh, about one minute, my voiceover that I'm using to test. You know, I go over here and I can't do anything with the sound. Okay, here is where some magic occurs. Let's say I go in here and I insert this voice that I did into a multi-track session. 
uh, we'll call it test. Um, I'm just going to do 48,000 and we're just going to keep everything mono because it's going to be a lot easier to show you what's going on. Click that. It doesn't like the sample rate, so it's going to change the sample rate over here. Okay, I'm going to bring in my uh, wave file. It's uh, sitting there. It's about a minute long. Let's uh, just bomb this thing over to the beginning, probably right about there. Uh. Okay, we have our wave file. This is me talking. Let's check it out. The first thing I want to take a look at is how thin this thing is. This is ridiculously thin. It's okay. So we got our voice file. Now I bring in my music. It's probably going to tell me it's not the right format. Fine. It goes through and it converts the sample type, which is great. Um, if you do try and do that in other places, it gets funky. So let's say our music's going to start right here. And then uh, I'll start the voice thing. Now, I have to go through and do what I was talking before, this auto ducking thing and moving the sound down and finding the right level. Um, let's just start there. That's not what I want to show you, but this is awesome. If I tag this voice as dialogue, it also gives me a bunch of other stuff, which I'll show you later. And I tag this sound file as music. Let's take a look at first this ducking feature. I turn on ducking for this music and it automatically, can you see that right there? It automatically goes through and ducks the sound when I start talking. Now, that's pretty smart. It knows that there are uh, little spaces in here, so it doesn't go up and down and up and down, but it knows I'm still talking. Uh, let's do something, show you how smart this thing is. Let's run, let's run here and let's split this clip. So now I've split this clip. I have this clip and I have this clip and the auto ducking's working. I'm gonna move this down this way. Check it out. So it auto ducked it, put it back up and then back down when I'm talking. Here's what happens when it does that. First thing I want to take a look at is how thin this thing is. This is ridiculously thin. It's the bezel on this is almost thinner than my finger. It's unbelievable. Up here we have a that's incredible. I, I needed to do nothing. And at the end, let's take a look at some of the front knobs. That's just killer. Now, that's cool. Let me show you something that really, 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 really blew my mind. We know we have music over here. Um, let's turn off ducking for a second. Just gonna, I can show you what's going on. Remember the duration in Premiere? Let's turn on duration and have a look here. It's going to stretch it and it's going to make it fast and everything else. Let's say at right about, oh, we'll talk, we'll say 120. Let's say I want this to be 120. I hit remix. Audition is going to go through and analyze every single part of this clip. You'll see in a moment why this is unbelievably mind blowing. So now let's analyze the clip. Now I say, you know what? I would like this music clip to be automatically generated with fades and cuts and everything else. And I want it, let's say a minute and 20 seconds. Bam. These right here, these little squiggly lines are where it made, where it made the cuts. I have a minute and 20 seconds. So let's turn off the audio and I'll show you what happened here. What? Totally seamless cut. Let's check out this one. Is that crazy or what? It goes through to the end of the song. Let's say that's right about there. I probably want it right about there. So instead of 120, because there's this little piece here, um, that's at uh, 124. Let's say I want it to end. 
let's, let's scrub down to about 118, maybe 17. No, nah, let's, let's make it smaller. Yeah, about 115, maybe a little bit less. 114, that's cool. It went through and it made another cut. Let's, let's make it even smaller. Another cut is sitting there. Oh, now put the cut in the middle. It is so smart. Watch this. Crazy seamless. Favor shorter cuts. If you click that, it goes through and it makes these shorter cuts in it, which you can do. Um, on shorter cuts, if you have a music that changes a lot over time, you might want to use this. But check this out. Look at these cuts. Absolutely crazy. How's our end doing? Anyway, I wanted to show this to you. This is mind blowing. I can take uh, one of my episodes, which is a lot longer. I mean, these are three minutes, five minutes, nine minutes. I can add in all sorts of various music in here and uh, have it figure out the length of the music and do these crazy, beautiful cuts. I can export this as a new WAV file, just include it in my video and, um, <laughs> and I'm good. See, like, Boom, like, wow, how the heck does that happen? Anyway, I'm so happy about this for anybody that uses Adobe CC or Audition to edit their sound files, or maybe you will now. Man, that is, that's just, that's just awesome. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So let's go on an audition and you'll see what I'm talking about. Wow. Well, look at that. Um, apparently, my lights are went bye-bye and they're on AC. This is kind of cool. Maybe we could do it this way. Hi, I'm the basic filmmaker. You don't see my face and you may be happy about that. <laughs>